Today I'd like to show you how to create a simple server monitor task using the worker node. Server monitor task performs queries against the server looking for clips that have been tagged with specific values to take action. In this case, I want to show you how we can take a simple status change and have worker node generate a proxy file of our original media. First step we need to take here is go into our preferences and we go to media search paths we need to set our path based proxies so that CathTV knows where to look for the new proxy media simply clicking on the plus sign here we're going to set our original location and out of convenience here I have created some folders on my desktop to do this test and I uh, encourage you to do the same that way you can see immediately what it is that you're doing correctly and if uh, anything is to go wrong, you can troubleshoot it very quickly as well. So my original media is going to be stored in the assets folder. And my proxy paths is going to be linked to my proxy files folder. And there we have it. We'll save this to the server. And I'm going to simply drag and drop these assets into CatTV. CatTV is going to analyze them for us. There it is. They're all loaded. We want to go into our worker node now and first thing we're gonna do here is add a configuration and as you can see worker node already has a watch action defined but this one is a file watcher and what we're gonna be doing today is a server monitor so let's go ahead and click the plus sign under job name here we're gonna simply label it test one trigger by we want to make sure that this is a server query priority we can set different levels of priority here if we have multiple tasks Let's move into our server query here. And what we want here is to enter a field value command for our status change. In this case, I am going to enter make proxy. Under perimeters, we want to make sure that the enable query is checked. And we want to change this to 10 seconds so that we don't have to wait too long to see what the results are under conversions now this is very very important this is where we're going to be setting our preferences for our proxy files first thing we need to do is simply click on that plus button and define a new movie conversion we have standalone movie selected we need to set our output directory this is where our proxy files are going to be stored in under movie format here we can choose to make a new conversion preset in this case, I'm simply going to select one that I have already made. Let's click OK. Post-processing tab. Now, this is very important. Once the proxy is generated, what do we want the worker node to do? In this case, I want the worker node to change the status of a clip from make proxy to proxy created. And then we want to make sure that publish to server selected. And if you want to save to a local catalog, you can do it here as well. Click OK here and we're going to apply. So now that we have set that command for worker node, let's go back to our CatTV interface. We'll select one of these files, a simple status change now to make proxy, publish that to our server, and just wait and watch as worker node takes hold of that file now and starts the conversion process. And it seems to have been completed. Let's go back to our file here, and there it is. We have a new proxy window with time code burned in as well as a uh, text. And if we pause this and pull back, we'll refresh our window now. And there it is. Our status change has automatically been updated as well to proxy created. And here you have it. That's how simple it is to create a server monitor task using the worker node which performs a search against your CatTV server looking for specific values in order for it to take action. Thank you for watching.